who we've spoken about quite a bit on this show. Mishi Dora, a former, um, she was on a reality TV show in Kenya. We all know her from her lifestyle. She's always looking good. You can see her on the yacht. Ndiyo yuapo kwenye groundy. Ndiyo yuapo karibu na puli. Yani, she's living her best life. Even her wigs look expensive. Like, honey, those wigs are not two shillings worth, okay? She is always showing off her luxurious lifestyle. But it seems sometimes your luxuries do catch up with you. Now, we all know that she was on this particular show. Uh, a Nigerian show, which apparently was supposed to be launching, and she was doing very well. And for that reason, she had a collaboration with the club, um, which wherein she decided that she was going to host a party to celebrate this particular movie, the premiere of it at least. But we all know how the night went according to the stories in the past. We heard, Kulikuwa na wanaume, wanaume wakamuacha na bill, because she brought other wanaumes, and that was the rumored story, all alleged. But now she's decided to clear up the air because after all of that went down, she did go to prison for about 38 days. So she's speaking about her perspective, her story. And her story is that she had had a deal with the club. She was supposed to be hosting at the club because she does it a lot. But this particular event was being hosted and celebrating the premiere of that particular movie. Okay. Mm -hmm. She did continue to say that during this moment, the club was supposed... When she's hosting, clubs usually give her drinks and they cater for all the food. Basically, everything is comped for a person who's hosting the event. Okay. Are we together until there? We're together. Now, she continues to say that the first round was brought. It even had the, the name of the particular movie. I think it's Opedo or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, the, please check for me the name of the movie. The particular movie, it was tagged on the drinks as they're coming on the table. The first round came through. There were bottles of cognac. There were bottles of champagne. There were a few energy drinks here and there. All of that. She says that apparently the first round came and she drank and everyone was happy. She only had one bottle of cognac, but everyone else was happy and celebrating. She continued to say that apparently... The waiter then came and asked another round, and she was like, oh, hell yeah, in her assumption that apparently these were still comped by the facility. Mm -hmm. And so they had the, th the second round. Guys were drinking, enjoying themselves. You know, they're lit and all of that. And then a third round came when the same thing happened. It had the tag of the of the movie and they were living their best lives at this moment she's very very late she's living her best life it is currently 5 a.m in the morning and then she gets a call apparently to go and pick up another oledo oledo oh. Yes, so this movie was called Oledo, and all the drinks came with the tag Oledo. In fact, even when she was walking into um, the venue, her picture was pinned up. It was on one of those, uh, what do you call them? Th banners, those roll-up banners, banners, yeah. So basically, she was like, all right, cool, maybe this is a hosting gig. Aye, let's continue. Now, the, the club had offered to give her two, um, two cars which she was using for her transportation, right? Mm -hmm. And they were so gracious to help her with these cars to go and pick up another person who was showing up in the morning. And they all went well, they together. Picked, they, pick, uh, they refused to pick... Uh, no, that's, that, was, uh, that was the before the event. Yeah. Now, after the event, oh, yeah, the club up. decided they were going to help her pick up the person who was arriving at the airport. And so they went and waited until about 11. I, they're like, upon them, they, they said, when your friend comes, please hit us up, we'll come back. Mm -hmm. And they dipped. All of this time, no one has mentioned any bill. No one has mentioned that there were any things that were supposed to be paid for. Nothing. Apparently, her producer from Nigeria was supposed to be comping her. Basically, was supposed to be paying. She was supposed to take care of the event and get reimbursed for the money. But at this moment, the person is like, yo, my card doesn't work in Nairobi, so, you know, we'll sort it out later. Which makes no sense. But let's continue. They go. Uh, did they pick them up? I don't know. They, they left. Mm -hmm. I, she, did, she doesn't tell us whether they came back or not. Either way, she had been dropped off in the morning to change. And then she was taken to the airport. And then at some point they left. So this whole story is starting to come off to me as... Because the whole time she says no one mentioned anything about this money, no one said anything about it. So later on, I think a week later is when she gets a she's um, getting a DM about how amazing the event was, but being asked when she's gonna pay the bill, and she goes, "Wait, what bill? Nobody told me anything about a bill." 
And at this moment, she's like, ah, maybe it's a few energy drinks guys had, whatever. The, it, it, it shouldn't be a big, big deal. Mm -hmm. She apparently calls the producer again, who's now gone back to Nigeria. None of the money comes through. She apparently, the producer was supposed to prank her. So when she had the cop cars coming to pick her up, she, she was like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> it's a prank, it's a prank. So marketing she, for the movie. Marketing for the movie, Kiki Yo. for the movie. She gets in the car uh, with the cops. She is taken to Akina police station and she's still over there Kiki King because she thinks it's still a prank. But... 38 days later, <laughs> she's still in prison. Her children have been taken away and put in an orphanage. She's still in prison. Amekuliwa na, na bed bugs. Amekuliwa na mchua. She, now her skin is looking bad. And she's retelling this whole story. And when she was asked whether she had actually paid the rest of the money, because at some point she was actually let out of uh, jail after the 38th day, she was asked, did you pay for the bill? She said, no, my priority right now is my children. I have to bring them back from the orphanage. In fact, I'm not even in my house. I've been locked out of my own house. And this story is just like, what? Yo. Does it make sense? Yo. Does it? It's a lot. It's a lot. Because I refuse to believe. I refuse to believe that Mishidora, with her, her, her whole age, okay? The hitches are coming. A big age. With, you, with your own... You're big I refuse to believe that you will be that naive because it's giving like a babe who came from the village to Nairobi and all these things are An new airhead. to you, you know. Yeah, you're so naive. Oh my you're God. not that naive. <laughs> Obviously, as things were happening through the night, you just assumed all of this that was happening because I've hosted a few gigs. There's a time I was broke and I had to host a few gigs. Listen, I have hosted a few gigs, and before that, you are told the, the amount of money you're, you're given to spend. your per diem. The exactly. It's called a per diem. So, and if you exceed that, you have to pay for what you exceeded. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes you invite some friends. Yes, your friends will come support you, but there are those airheads who just come to drink, mm -hmm. like they are thirsty and they are. You know, the and first then time they, they sing alcohol. They dip with mm -hmm. the bill, mm. and then you're left with it. And you, as the host, have to cover that yep. because utaibisho ukuinje. They are going to post you out here, and let me tell you, netizens are not kind. It's it's the ghetto. So I'm just thinking, there's no way, there's no way that you just assumed that the club was going to cover all of this. Kwani <sighs> whom are you? Whom are you? Like. Or, or did you have a personal relationship with somebody in management and assume that they would cover for you? Mm. And then, you know, because now this is now coming back to the rumors. You know, initially when she was arrested, there were these rumors about she had how gone with her sponyo. you had come with a sponyo and then another sponyo found, about an, found out about You came about with another, another sponyo's sponyo. car. And, you know, unless it's that, that is what happened. It's sounding a lot like it exactly, is. Exactly, because ain't no way. Ain't no mm. way. But also... Given that her kids are, have been taken away, I can't even imagine the stress. You know what she's going through, and she's homeless. And I really hope, like, she gets her kids back and, and she's her able house. to get her situation back together. I really pray for that. I hope you work things out and things work out for you. That's all. Yeah, I yeah. think so. Because it's a lot. It's really a lot. Now let's get into our next story. That was a lot. That was heavy. <laughs> let's get into Akove, Madam Voice, Chair Lady. Like, I I love this woman. Like mm -hmm. you can't you, even if you, you love tried, to hate her. Yeah, you won't hate her. Mm -hmm. She she's just on another level. And let me tell you, have you do you follow her on social media? This yes. woman wakes up every day consistently, works out. Like you can't like wake up and go and hate on her. If you're just a horrible person, if you just wake up one day and go and hate on her in a comment section, you just have a mental problem. Because she just shows how she's consistently putting in the work into herself, into her business, into raising her kids. She does her own thing. She does not need anybody. After